Welcome back, YouTube. Hey, everybody, are you ready for this battle march we're going to be going through here? Link, I'm sorry, but we're not doing a battle march. That kind of requires more than one person. You know, like a marching band or a parade. But you are more than enough to defeat these Lionels. These wicked Lionels. Anyways, with the golden sword in hand, we will go to defeat Ganon and rescue the Triforce from his grasp. Link, we are going to break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. Go, maidens, go. Break that barrier. With all the combined strength, magical strength of your wisdom and Link's courage, we'll open up this tower bring us to the final battle between good and evil of Link to the Past. Alright, Ganon's at the top of the tower, right? No, Link, if you see over- well, yes, Link, but if you see over there, that door is locked, so you must go down to the basement to get the big key. By the way, as you can see, we are on the second floor, going up seven floors to the top, and one floor in the basement. Just have to show off that beautiful map one more time. Yeah, you show off the map. This basement will put all your skills to the test, Link. You will? Yes, it will. You'll find stuff under pots. You'll find hidden treasure chests when you clear a room of enemies, you'll find torch puzzles, you'll find so many different things. This dungeon should be. Uh, just thinking about all the other times I've seen this dungeon be, been just defeated, cleared so easily by other people, and done so easily and so spectacularly. what people can do to beat these games and I just have to let you know everybody I'm not that great at, not as great as those players on you not as great at, at playing games as those guys but I will I'm definitely trying to be entertaining I'm trying to Sort of trying to fight myself a little bit too. Oops. Well, that only happens in the Game Boy Advance version. <laughs> yeah, the gold sword in the Game Boy Advance version is cuts through pots. Especially when you slash your sword or try to dash into pots. Bridge. It's highlighted by the lighting that torch up there. Only way to light it with with a 
fire rod, or you can use a blast of ether a couple times while you're crossing the bridge to light it up, and light it up, and light it up, 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 up. This chest, we find arrows, which is indicative of what we're going to be fighting, rather than solving this puzzle right here. Because down here in this basement, we find six armor statues once again. Let's see if I can do this as fast as I usually do. And I'm doing it. I got them so quickly. Yes. All right, up here, and you want to make sure you go only up because. Up is usually the way towards the back end. The back end is where you protect stuff. Where you put treasures and the king or something. And because going over the left will show you that this is a one way door, as that one locks. You'll have to go up through the basement, the first basement to the first floor, actually. First floor again over and over again until you go up through the right door. With the big key in hand, we can open this chest to obtain the red mail, providing even better protection than the blue mail. Now back up to the second floor, or even the third floor. Ascending the tower to get him. Focus even on. I just can't do it right now. Oops. Okay, nine minutes in, we're gonna pick up the pace. Watch out for those cannonballs, like cannonball cannon. Cannons on rails again. Cannons on rails. This really needs some rail system really needs to make a comeback. And allow us to experience the joys of cannons on rails. that gap, because I want to heal. There we go. Healing. Oh, I have no fairies. Did not think of that before I started this episode. Oh, there's only one bomb and a full magic jar and two fairies in that room. That's hilarious. It's a hilariously bad room. Okay, now start something called the Gauntlet, where we will be facing off a series of rooms where you kill everything in order to open the, the doors to continue on. I'm 
we're doing it here in Nez now is not the way the really cool people do it on YouTube and other places. But what we'll have to do for now because I definitely need practice to do the really cool stuff if I want to do the really cool stuff. But this will be the last room right here. Okay, one more monster. And now we carry on to the next room with a bunny maker. Take out the magic powder, powder the bunny maker to turn it into a fairy. As we face, once again, Lot Molas. As before, they jump out of the ground, out of the sand, basically one at a time, or sort of in sequence. But the difficulty is wrapped up with the Medusa, and I forgot to say with the six armor statues, that the difficulty for them is amped up by having an icy floor. Well, as you can see, these Skull Wiz robes are the upgraded version, upgraded Dark Road version of the Wiz robes that we only get to see the Wiz robes once, and then we only see Dark Road Wiz robes, the Skull Wiz robes. It's too bad we don't get to see the whiz robes in the light rolled. That definitely would have given them a bit more shock value. Battle. Yeah, teach you how to have battle prowess. Much like I'm having trouble with this whiz robe. Skull whiz robe. Run, Link, run. Now for a torch lighting puzzle. Man, I'm just doing every kind of puzzle in this tower, aren't I? Yes, Link, you are. Oops. Did not mean, oh, did not mean to kill you and start the dungeon over again. Damn it. Wasn't paying attention again. As before, we head up to the third floor. I'm gonna grab this fairy. We have to hit the skull crystal in order to walk. Safe parts of the floor. Push up, push up this block in order to in order to cross the floor spot, select floor safely. This room we have to kill these garais, I believe they're called. Red fire spitting. Which can only be which can only be hit with the bow and arrow. What do about this guy? I'm just gonna get poked and prodded by the spike trap.
why I'm having to focus. Maybe it's just because I haven't played this game in a really long time. And I thought I was good enough at this game to just pick it up and help you guys. Let that be a hint to you people. Do not do that. If you feel like LPing on YouTube or somewhere else, at least practice once or twice before making a playlist series. A video game series of playing the game. I'm gonna jump over here again to I die. I've died. Oh boy. Wanna grab those two fairies in the room now? Definitely then. Because coming up next is the gauntlet. As you know, I was having difficulty with the gauntlet. I'm just getting old, because I am an older person, compared to probably most of you watching on YouTube. Hey, I'm 31. I hate, hate getting... I hate the thought of getting older and not being able to play video games as well as I used to, but it's seeming to be a thing. So we're doing good with RPGs, but we've got a couple other games, but if I don't keep up the practice with playing them, I kind of slip up on games like Zelda and like Path of Exile. I've, I've played Path of Exile almost 5,000 hours now since I started playing a few years ago with a friend, and Pretty much kept up practice with that. Like, that's almost constant playing of Path of Exile. To make 5,000 hours. I've taken quite a big, big break from it recently because, uh, just got worn out. But, anyways, it's still a really good game, doing really cool things. And I am glad to... I'm always happy to keep playing these games. I'm happy to play Path Exile, happy to play Zelda, happy to play Final Fantasy, and you'll see. I will bring these games to YouTube. I am having fun. I am... I am hoping that, uh... I'm hoping that some of you like, like how I, like what I'm doing for playing these games and how I'm doing and you like me a little bit and I'm hoping we can talk a little, get to talk about video games, I like to talk about video games. I like watching video games a lot too. And. I am hoping to someday make a couple friends with some of you, or even some other people. Just, just want a friend. And trust me, I can decide if you're like a like that crazy friend episode of Frasier where he's saying, "Reach out, reach out, and friend me, and whatever." And Ends up with the guy with the scrolls. Guy, guy faxes him. But I mean, I'm probably gonna keep you in our arms length, YouTube, and you don't have to worry about being weird to me. I'm being weird to you. Is that one fairy 
left or no fairies left, YouTube? Let me focus and be careful here. Let me focus. Let me do well. Let me not suck. You know, and if you have tips for games that I'm playing or strategies that I don't know about, let me know those too. And I'd be glad to show them off once or twice. Why did that not like stay open? for the controllers. Uh, I don't want to just keep on whining and harping on it. It just sucks that it seems to be going that way. It makes no sense otherwise. I've been this game for 25 years and I suck so bad. Yeah, we could chuck it up to help you curse, but I still feel like I'm harping and whining and... So I'm gonna find something else to talk about. We're almost done with Ganon's Tower here, ladies and gentlemen. Just gotta do a couple more rooms. And in case you didn't notice, we are doing repeat boss fights against the Light World bot Dungeon Bosses. So yes, there is one more dreaded boss to, to battle. I believe only throw fireballs. And whatever happened to his ball there, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like 
looks like the real one's capable of throwing ice balls. The shadows are only capable of throwing fireballs. You need to hit Aghanim six times again with fireballs to defeat him. But what will happen when I defeat Aghanim for the second time? Fallen over. What is that? What is that scully pink thing? It's turned into a bat. You have to chase the link. You need to chase that bat. That bat is Ganon. How did I know that would work? How did I know that would work? I don't know, Link. It seems special though. I don't think you can do it again. I'm gonna try though. We're back at the Pyramid of Power? Thank you, Duck. Thank you, Duck Friend. Can I call you one more time, Duck Friend? Can I tra quick travel the, the Dark World? No, Link, you cannot. However, go ahead, jump in. Jump in. No fairies, no anything. We're gonna do this. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard. Twice! But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer Hyrule both light and dark worlds come true without delay. No, I will not let you again. With this golden throbbing sword, master sword of mine, I will defeat you. Go, Link. Go, Link. Watch out, Link. He's gonna start throwing those fireballs out at you. Call them back to him. They will become fire keys. Shoot. I tried. I wasn't trying to beat him there. But I was trying to show off something, and I still want to show off something. Okay, more hearts. Let's go again. I could not def believe you defeated me twice. Yeah, well, I'm gonna def defeat you this time for sure. No, Link, you won't. I'm gonna show you why. That's what I want to show off. Shoot, I'm gonna die again. I died really fast. Damn. I'm trying to rush this. Because I've already spent 30 minutes doing this. Sucking. Sucktastic. Sucktastic's all I ever need. I think I'm doing better than Eclectic Andrew. Yeah, you're doing better than me controlling you, aren't you, Link? Yeah, I think I am. Oh, here we are. Oh, watch out for that. Hit oh no. I need to hit him one more time. I need to talk to Zelda one more time. Can I talk to Zelda in my pocket? No, Link. The, the maids cannot hear you through the crystals, remember? somewhere. Yeah, over here. I can fall off a platform in the middle of the final boss fight of this game? Yes, Link, you can. When Ganon is done, seal his fate with a silver arrow. Do you understand, Link? Silver arrow? Where on earth do I find a silver arrow? Well, Link, I will show you next time on Let's Play, a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Everybody watching, 
like, favorite and comment. Did I say favorite? I don't know why I said favorite, but also share if you'd like. Let us know if, to let us know if you like what we're doing or not. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, YouTube. Bye.